Link's Awakening came out for the Game Boy in 1993, and this game did something that many other Game Boy games tried to do, but in my opinion, failed to do. Link's Awakening, for being what it was, for being on the Game Boy, for having the graphical limitations that it did, for having the audio limitations that it did, it told a beautiful, wonderful story, and it did it with heart. Now for those of you who don't know, this is a really big deal for me. Link's Awakening being remastered or remade coming to the Nintendo Switch. This is huge and this was a huge impactful game on my life. In case you guys didn't know a story, let me tell you guys a little story that was huge for me and played a crucial part in my childhood and becoming the video gamer I am today. When I was younger, my brothers and I would always play video games together. That's just what we did. But one night, we were looking at my brother playing on the Game Boy Link's Awakening. We were all trying to peek over onto the screen and see what he was doing and where he was getting, but we just couldn't get a good view. So what we did, we did something exciting. We went out, as kids do, and we built a tent in our backyard with our parents' help. After we got done building the tent, we hauled out a TV, we pulled out some extension cords, we brought out the Super Nintendo and put Link's Awakening on the Super Game Boy on the TV. And that night was a night that a lot of gamers have and a lot of gamers remember as a very impactful, crucial part in their life. We sat there and we played the game together as one. Yes, one person was playing, but every move we made, every movement was assisted by another brother telling us what to do and what they thought would be the next way to solve a puzzle. Now we played this all through the night and we all ended up falling asleep playing this video game. And when we woke up the next morning, every single one of us just awoke. We were waking up and we looked at the screen and the game was still on. It was just sitting there. And the best part was is when we woke up, we all looked at each other and we said, I think it's time to keep playing. That's one of the most perfect moments I had as a child and as a man now looking back as one of the moments that sticks out was a really important part to me because this was not only a moment where I knew that video games were important to me but I built some relationships with my brothers that have stuck to us with this day and when I heard that this was coming out I sent it to my brother right away my brother Adam and I was like check this out and right away we started chit chatting all night just talking about that same memories we had playing Link's Awakening awakening together. Normally during Nintendo Directs, I'm screaming, I'm yelling, I'm over the top, I'm excited because I genuinely am. When they announced Smash Bros, new Smash Bros characters, new Nintendo IPs, a new Mario game, I'm screaming and yelling because I'm excited. And for this game, although I was very excited for the first time with the Nintendo Direct and them dropping a new game or a remaster, I was dead silent the whole way. I felt emotions come coming at me, not just genuine excitement, but different emotions that never normally come over me during an announcement of a game. And I looked down after the trailer and I realized the hairs were standing up on my arms because this was such a crucial part of my life. This game was such a crucial part of my childhood that I couldn't even scream. I was just sitting there and felt so many different warm emotions coming over me. Normally I'm not the biggest fan of remakes or remasters, but for this game, I think it's very important because this was a game that came out on the Game Boy. There is so much about this game that can be retold or revisited on a new HD console. And something I definitely have to point out is the graphics. And I know a lot of people are looking at the graphics and there's some people that are upset at the way it looks, some people that don't really care, some people that say it grows on them. But I wanna say for me, the graphics are a null conversation. They're a conversation that doesn't need to be visited, in my opinion. And the reason I say that is because this game, as I said earlier, is so driven by story. The graphics almost don't matter. Yes, graphics can do something for you visually and make you feel a certain way. But for me, Link's Awakening was on the Game Boy. The graphics weren't something that really impressed me, so to say, back in the day anyways, even when I revisit the game. So the graphics don't matter because this game, the story, 
is the biggest draw for this game. And with that, make sure you beat Link's Awakening either on the original Game Boy or on the Nintendo Switch when it comes out because I am telling you, this is one of the few games on the Game Boy and I know going forward on the Nintendo Switch, man, it is a real tear jerker, a really emotional video game. And you would think for a game that was released on the Game Boy, not many games were capable of telling stories like this that actually genuinely made you feel really, really sad and really, really happy. I can say that it's gonna invoke a lot of emotions on you, so make sure you beat it on whatever you play it on. A silly side note to point out is the Game Boy was portable, obviously, but the Super Game Boy, again, did allow us to play it on a TV, so I love that the Nintendo Switch does the same thing. It is portable, but also you can play it on a full screen TV as well. I think it's a beautiful moment. Lastly, right before filming this video, I posted up on YouTube asking how you guys felt about the game, and let's see your guys' response. 62% of you said you are hyped, 24% says you don't really care, and 13% of you, well, you're on sure. The Hub says hype, hype, hype. The Spinecast guy says just need to get a Switch now. Eric Payne says favorite Game Boy game ever. Gustavo Lopez says I started to play the Game Boy version on my GBA. Hyped. Zeldaxer says I can't believe it. I have the Game Boy version. Richard Salazar says Link's Awakening is one of my all-time favorite Zelda games. And there's a whole bunch more, but I love seeing your guys' excitement for this announcement. With that, let me know if you guys are excited. I know some of you guys said that you're unsure. Some of you guys said that you don't care. Let me know why you feel that way. And for the rest of you that are really excited, just join in with me and being hyped and sound off in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button if you want. I would appreciate it. Also, I've never asked, but hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos. And episode 100 is coming of the NES Pursuit. The rain has been trying to stop us, but we're working on it. Thanks you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Have a good day. Talk to you guys later.